Hello everyone and welcome back to From Our Basement Gaming. Hey everybody. Today we're starting a brand new Let's Play. That we are. And as much as we love the little bandicoot, we are taking a little break from him. I'm afraid so. But we have a, a new exciting... A uh, different lovable mascot. Developed by Insomniac. Yes. You probably all know who it is. Yep. Yep. It's oh. everybody's favorite little purple dragon. Named Spyro. Yep. Spyro the dragon. You may remember the commercials with that crispy <laughs> sheep. Yes. Uh, I don't... Well, if you're American, I don't really know what the international commercials for, for Spyro were like. Good point. Uh, there is something else to look into. That's uh. right. <laughs> uh, so yes, we are sta starting a brand new game. Yes, featuring okay, everybody's rolling. favorite purple oh, dragon. It's been peaceful here not a in the five worlds, or is it six? <laughs> for a dragon's age. <laughs> We now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? I wonder if that's the shit from that What about this Ganasty Gnork character? Maybe. Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. <laughs> simple. He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, I think that's how it all started. Ugly. Yeah, that I know. Does it. It's kinda sad. Looks like I've got some things to do. Be careful what you say on television, kids. Yeah. And that Spyro does have a cute voice. Yeah, I feel so sad because um, this is the only game that this voice actor did his voice. And I'm sorry, I don't remember the guy. I should, though, because, um, why did it pause? That's what I want to know. Come on, compu <laughs> game. Oh, Not computer. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, my goodness. We just got started. Let's see what the problem is, kids, as I adjust the re-controller. <laughs> did it get unplugged or something? I honestly don't know. Sofa. Yes, I'm literally in a sofa in a basement from our yep. basement gaming. Thank you yeah. for releasing me, Spyro. Alright, we've rescued the Nestor. World. Then find not the, the unlikely. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. And I'm since we don't have subtitles first. and we have That's it down really tell. low, we don't know what he's saying. Is that gonna be a problem? It might be when they start giving us advice. So we you might have to turn it up a little for us for right. this game. So I'm going to have to save this game and I'm going to have to adjust the volume on this television. So give us just a second. Again. You know how it is on From Our Basement Gaming. It can't go without a hitch. Uh, yes. Technical difficulties in Typical This is why these games need subtitles, darn it. Yes. Too bad we were very subtitle unfriendly back in 1998, which was almost 25 years ago. Well, 24, really, but yeah. All right, so the red ones are one. Yup. Ah, Spyro. I hear your fondness. Yes, uh, that was another... Um... The green ones are two. Another PlayStation game I played, um, kind of late, played it in middle school. So oh, like, that's cool. So after it came out, obviously. So this was, uh, one of your jams, really. Yeah, yeah, um, uh, I remember playing it with a friend of mine that I had at the time. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I think your best friend, was it? No, not my best friend at the time. Oh, okay. Just a, a friend. Gotcha. No, the friend who I considered a best friend at the time, uh, she was, 
she didn't have a PlayStation yet. Oh. But, and she was more into Crash. I don't really know that she played Spyro. Huh. Which I think she would have liked Spyro, maybe. Yeah, it's got similar humor. Yeah. It's a light-hearted game with a, a uh, purple dragon. And was... Yeah, to the point where I almost forgot it was two different companies, but... Yeah, because they're kind of joined at the hip by the fans. Yeah, that and, um... I... Uh... At one point, Where they were bought North? by the same company, oh, <laughs> so there was a very small... Keep your horns on, Spyro! You have much to learn first! Do you know what the dragonfly <laughs> following you is doing? Um... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you! Keep an eye on him, and see what I mean! <laughs> yeah. It is nice that the game kind of tells you its concepts as you're playing it. Yeah. Save this. But yeah, this voice of Spyro is my favorite. Um, but I will preface this by saying I absolutely love Tom Kenny to death, but uh, I don't like Tom Kenny's Spyro as much as this Spyro. Sorry, Tom. I, I, you know, it's nothing against Tom Kenny, and a lot of Spyro fans I meet think fondly of Tom Kenny's portrayal, which makes sense because, you know, all we, he did, uh, his voice, I think, up until, uh, I, up until the soft reboot, <laughs> yeah. if you want to call those games a soft reboot, or maybe they were a hard reboot, I don't know. The Legend of Spyro. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, and then uh, there was the whole Skylanders thing, which, which made matters even worse. Yeah. And when I say joined at the hip, I think both of them were affected by Skylanders. Yeah. 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 Skylanders, something we will probably never do. Yeah, yeah, and it'll probably yeah, get harder yeah. and harder, especially the, boss the way things are going. The dragon mouth. But you are not yet ready, Spyro. First, you must complete one of the other artisan lands. <laughs> Do that again. How, how can I unturn myself from a statue? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Uh, I kind of like wondered what he was talking about when he's like do that again same i do kind of get like a mario 64 vibe but uh it is true it's kind of open world um and it has like a hub area ish but yeah i mean honestly i thought of this kind of thing as being open world before the modern idea of open world was started by... Right, which kind of has feelings towards the pseudo-old-fashioned way of open world. Yeah. Where, if you remember Mega Man, you can technically do the levels on any order, but there's a specific order to get the easiest. Yeah, and I don't really consider that open world. Hmm, interesting. What I consider open world, and what I thought they meant uh, when they said open world with um, games like Breath of the Wild, was um, hmm. you have to actually physically travel from one world to the other, and you do things in this open environment, um, and that if you know affects your gameplay. You have to actually go out and do things in the world to get the other levels kind of like you know you had to um, like in Mar super mario 64 you had to you know go to that garden and punch that specific food to get that level right um you know in sonic adventure 
you kind of had the same thing where you, you had to journey to a specific part of the hub world to find another level. Sometimes you had to like, you know, find an item or something to get to the next level. That's what I had associated with open world. You didn't have a menu taking you from level to level. Right. You were actually traveling there. And I like that kind Watch of open the dragonfly world. Spyro. His color indicates his power. Uh, when he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. Four dragons. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh yeah, we have to save. He was judging, wasn't he? He was. <laughs> and that's another positive about this game is... It's very safe friendly. Yes, frequent saves. Makes you feel a little less, uh... uh paranoid. That's right. Oh, did I save after I did the thing? I should save again. I should save a third time. Yeah. The game is actually like, here, you want to save again? <laughs> Please, save again. Here you go, here's another save. Point. Yeah, every time you free one of your buddies. Yeah. And is it just me or did the, are the walls moving? Huh. I don't know. Yeah. It might just be some of the lag of the movement. I hope not, but that is realistically possible. Yeah, I think the camera's being wonky. That is a, a, a little bit of a negative with this game. The camera's weird. But I absolutely love this game. I loved collecting When you free a dragon or step on one of their I don't blame you. you're saving your progress. That could be Saving useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. <laughs> Who, me? <laughs> Are you giving Spyro shade? <laughs> yes. I guess the feeling is mutual between Spyro and the other dragons. Yeah. It is very weird that he seems to be the only young one, though. You're right. You'd think there'd be a couple children dragons. I, is it because there there seems to be a lack of women dragons? That is concerning. I know the later games try to remedy that. Yeah, but definitely in this game, like most of the dragons are clearly male or at least male presenting. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, one or two of them could actually be female for all I know, but... Could be. I kind of doubt... It's maybe a little bit of an oversight. <laughs> yeah. They're kind of in trouble if they only have one male child dragon. Yeah. And no young females. How are you gonna make more dragons? Yeah. And yes, when they rebooted the series, they had a female dragon. Oof! Yeah. You know, a kind of angsty one. The cool girl? Yeah. Because I, I don't need anybody's help. Angsty and strong, but has a heart of gold, and means well, and has a good mm -hmm. head on her shoulders. Nice. Possible. I don't know enough about her to know if she's well written or not. Fair point. But, anyway, that is probably way in the future Hello, my for friend. How about a hint on gliding? For now, you bet. Uh, for the longest we're going to play the original the trilogy. At the top of a jump and try pressing the triangle button to drop down in mid-flight. Hmm. Okay. Ah, uh, the lip-syncing was a little off. Did you notice? I did. 
the thing. No, it's just an instant. They won't notice. I noticed. Yes, that this video game is dubbed. But that's kind of all of them back in this period. Right. I think it was done in English first. Right. But yeah. And I don't... I don't know, call me uh, whatever you want to call me, but <laughs> um, I feel I don't like the art style change in Reignited. Uh, sure. Makes sense. Like, they made a lot of the characters look different, and I'm like, I like the art style of the original. Yeah, this has that cuteness. Uh... Average. After you freed all the dragons, the pass type. through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> he knows something. But yeah, um, I think he said vortex. I don't know if he said cortex. <laughs> Hmm, let me see if I can find it. What you looking for? I was trying to find an example of the art style change. Well, it just doesn't, doesn't help me. I need specific examples. Ah, this is a guy's name. Forgive me if I mispronounce it. Um, Carlos Alazra Alazraki. Uh, did spiral in the first game. Oh! Same guy who did the Taco Bell Chihuahua? Weird. You kill a Taco Bell. But yeah, obviously in the new trilogy they had Tom Kenny um, record the lines for the first game. <gasps> That's <sighs> to be expected. Yeah. Yeah, dragon designs. Hmm. But yeah, the dragon designs were changed, and I was like, why? Mm hmm. Why did you change the dragon designs? Why? Why? And then the other characters too, they changed their designs. Yeah, even the dragonfly, which was sad, cause... <laughs> I know! Did he really need that drastic a change? I mean, and they were already changed for the reboots, which is probably what you were referring to more than the Reignited Trilogy, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you'll see, uh, you'll see the good, the bad, and the ugly one day. But... That's true. But thankfully we have, um, similarly to with Crash, we have three, um, three Spyro games that were on the PlayStation. Yep. And, uh, we're planning to play them in their original, um, glory. Yeah. Nothing wrong with playing it on the Reignited Trilogy, just uh, we decided to do the original ones. Yeah. For, I this, mean. for the sake of being retro and also because yeah. I don't own the Reignited Trilogy. True, I mean, we bothered to um, make it look like the... We bothered to get the originals, so we might as well enjoy yeah. it. Yep. And yeah, this is your actual copy of the first game. So yes. That uh, gives props. Yeah, I know we had to buy the other games in the series. Two and three. Yes, and then the later stuff. Although we haven't, um, we haven't bought the Game Boy Advance games. Yeah. We are still debating about whether we will do Game Boy Advance, Crash, and Spyro games. Um, if you happen to have an opinion on that, let us know. Um, 
because we, we could use that opinion. And the kitties are going to be mad. Because uh, <laughs> we have 10 more minutes to go. So, yeah, they're going to be 15 minutes late. Yeah, they're going to be like, meow, meow, meow. Won't yeah. they? We'll have to, um, we'll have to, uh, tag team doing dinner and, uh, yeah. the kitties dinner. Yeah, you know yeah. how aggressive your boys Gabe and, although yes. Gabe and Gus are, although Gus can be a little more gentlemanly about it, yeah. Gabe is getting more adventurous. <laughs> Gabe will, um... Yeah, Gabe's the kind of cat that he will jump up hey, on the Spyro, counter. Press the um, jump button twice you know, where to I'm lie. preparing and, the food. And don't be afraid. Afraid? Ooh. Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks? Plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. <laughs> well, I have memories of falling into nothingness, so... Whoa. Yes, this game, um, this game has a, a good share of that. And you can always replay the dragon if you forgot the advice you gave. Yay, that's the thing. Or if you couldn't understand what they said because there aren't any subtitles. <laughs> yeah. And I still don't know if they added it in the Reignited Trilogy or not. There are later games that had subtitles, but, um... Took a while. Yeah. Didn't they make some of the characters prettier in the Reignited? Yes. I think their whole entire idea of changing the art style was to make everything prettier. Gotcha. Which, I'm like... My thought is, why don't you just update the graphics and not change the art style? Right. Which is basically what they did with Spyro himself. Um, but... Because there's not really much radically different with little Spyro. Yeah. Now... The... Reboot games... <laughs> did mess up his design. Not as much as Skylanders, but uh, <laughs> uh, Skylanders is like, oh my god, what happened to you? My friend Torner and I. <laughs> and I, I think, based on the research I did, I think that was the current voice of Crash Bandicoot. Uh, Jess Harnell. Wow. Yeah, um... You know, wasn't the original guy. But... He, um... And he's, he's good. I, I just... Maybe... Maybe that was our proof that Crash shouldn't have... Lines. <laughs> much of a talking... Character. Shouldn't have much talking... Um... Even though I love Crash and... I, I do too, I love him too, more as... But Skylanders, I think the problem was they got his personality wrong. They did. Uh, you know, I can kind of forgive the stereotypical Australian accent. So can I. <laughs> but um, it's not as good as Dingo Dial, who actually had a more convincing Australian accent. Why You're does your right. villain have a more convincing Australian accent? Uh, then you're a good guy. I'm gonna get you, sh Crash. You're not Shadow. <laughs> Whoa! Thank you, one of my favorite uh, Crash villains. Yeah. I, I say one of because nobody tops Dr. Neocortex. Of course not. Stuck in a drain pipe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys haven't seen that. That camera. True. Oh None. my god. Insane. But yeah, I, I do like Spyro and I know they realized 
how popular the two mascots were. That's why we had the weird game, weird crossover games where Spyro ended up in Crash's world and Crash ended up in Spyro's. Welcome to Town Square. And then we had to get together. Begin to exploring by gliding to that fight area their with the bulls. Use the L2 and R2 buttons to get a good look. Thanks. <laughs> yes, very helpful. Nice. Oh, me a little bit tired. That's okay. Yeah, I'm really excited that we're uh, doing pyro games. Mm. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah. We hope you guys are as excited as we are. I mean, we finally got past that point in Echo. Yeah. So, you know, we have uh, more Echo this month. That's true. Oh, we didn't talk about manga, did we? Manga thing, oh yeah. Uh, so, right. So, um, if you guys saw the last Donkey Kong Country 3 part, um, I talked about that I felt like Japan had its own little sneaking censorship when it came to manga. Uh, not censorship, but more like uh, controlling the age of the reader. And that Thanks, was the con. <laughs> so I had the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Uh, Did you I'll know that you done. get your longest glides by pressing X at the very top of your jump? Thanks. Cool, dude. So yeah, I'll try to finish because I have three minutes. Um. Well, the kids learn you know, a certain amount of kanji, which are the Chinese characters in school. Um, like, all throughout. So, and something the manga does for kids is it will put the hiragana reading, um, you know, in really small characters uh, so that the child can read characters they don't recognize. And I noticed some of the manga I have that are for, say, more mature audiences don't do that. Um, and, you know, I know a lot of, like, probably the first, I want to say, probably up to third grade with maybe a little bit of fourth grade kanji. Um, like, I can read and recognize those. And there were some kanji I couldn't recognize. So I realized, you know, hey, maybe this is a way they're controlling who reads it. And I don't know about you, but when I see words I can't read, I don't like to read it. <laughs> so, I understand. Uh, so I kind of thought maybe that was a sneaky way of, of them getting a kid to put down a, a manga they shouldn't be reading. Which manga are comic books, by the way, if you don't happen to know that. Which is okay. Uh, so yeah, that was, um, that was it, basically. <laughs> Spyro, um, did you see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief, and he's stolen a dragon egg! You've got to track him down and, and get that egg! Run! Run! <laughs> I'm getting a little winded! I hate those things. Is that that na 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 guy? I hate them too. <laughs> was he going? Or <laughs> was I imagining? I think he did go that. <laughs> yeah. Did the guy forget his line or something? Either that, or he was trying to Im Im imitate sadness. Yeah. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for coming, and um, we will see you in the next part. That we will. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. <laughs>